Fancy's doing good, and I guess we're doing good because when we're having lunch, we book the load. Well, yeah. you book the load. So. Got a load on a car load. Yeah. As much as I, I hate to see this guy go, he, he's got to. I got to. Need to make some money back because we've been spending money instead of making it. So he's going to go uh, get ready, I guess, to go load because he's got to go pick it up here in a couple hours. So really. Uh -oh. Really, no, no warning on this one. Um, I have to use my big boy tarps. Oh, I get to use the big boy tarps. What are you hauling? Some tall ass crates. Or something. Oh. Alrighty then. Should be interesting. So I'm just doing what I can to help Martin get out of the house because I know he's pressed for time. So while he's hooking up the trailer, I packed his bag for him, um, grabbed out a bag of some food that he can put in the truck, and I'm going to fill up his water jug now. Um, hopefully it's stuff that he can use, and I guess if not, then I'll be putting it back in the fridge. No big deal. Just try to make it easier on him. Um, I know it's like to be pressed for time. Signing our confirmation. And I'm going to scan this um, using an app and email it back over to them. Um, I know they know that we're, we're good for this, uh, but just so, you know, we're doing things as you should, we're signing this and sending it back over to them. Uh, it looks like he's going to be hauling 20,000 pounds for this load that's pretty good i like it even though he's got a tarp it's lightweight so that's that's cool cool deal all right i'm gonna get this sent over Love you. Love you. well that's totally not how i want to say goodbye to martin but he's uh he's in a mood because it's hot and if you guys have been watching us for any period of time you know he hates the heat so unfortunately that carried over into our goodbyes uh, plus our goodbyes are rushed because I have to go get our son and our daughter from school and he's got to get over there uh, before they stop loading. Um, so one of those one of those moments in trucking. Uh, sorry, I'm just taking my, my glance. Bye Fancy. Bye Martin. Oh my gosh, guys, it's stupid hot. Um, the car says it's 97, but it feels hotter, at least especially in this car. It's like stupid hot. Um, hopefully, hopefully, everybody cross your fingers that um, Martin has a good trip and that the truck um, has all that silliness out of its system for the time being because I know he's probably tired of crawling all over that sucker and working on it. And I know we're both tired of spending the money. <laughs> he needs to be making money. That's the whole point of this. You, you drive the truck to make money, not spend money. Um, that being said, we didn't spend like a ton. Um, so it wasn't that bad, but still, you know. Okay, I gotta go. I'm sweating like a fool. I gotta turn the AC up in this car. I'm just driving down the driveway, so this is this is okay because it's private property. But um, I know a lot of you guys like how we've been kind of showing the other sides of trucking. Um, on that note, today our daughter is going to try out for uh, sixth grade girls basketball. Um, she's never played uh, basketball like on it, you know, the way you're supposed to play the game. She's she shot hoops, and you know, she she thinks she likes it, and. Uh, Martin doesn't get to go today, and he really wanted to. Um, tryouts are all week, so maybe maybe he get back on Thursday and he can catch her on uh, Thursday if she lasts that long. Um, I hope she does. We bought her shoes. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just sacrifices you got to make um, to provide for your family. And uh, I sure do appreciate that he does that. 
and uh, if you have a trucker in your life that's doing that also, um, you know, appreciate them for it because they, they miss out on a lot of things and uh, believe me, I know, it sucks because I've been there, it sucks. Okay, onward. Well, just arrived at the shippers. I got the hood up because that stupid coolant, low coolant light kept coming on. It was fine all the way here until I got to the bumpy roads and then it started being annoying. So we, uh, we were checking things out. Um, obviously the coolant is not low. So I don't know. There's a way to bypass it. You just stick a clip in there and it will quit because it just wants to read a resistance. But I think everything's looking okay. So, uh, yeah. But enough about that. Sorry. Let's go look at our load. I guess this is what we're getting. So, I got a tarp it, eight feet high. So we're gonna use our big boy tarps. They're electrical panels. One, two, three, I believe those guys. About 6,000 pounds a piece. Doesn't look like a tarp shredder. So we should be all right there. Not a good look on you, fancy. Let's close your hood. Let's go close your hood, buddy. And we'll get our tarps out and we'll start getting ready. So those are a load. Now I have to tarp it. They uh, put wood up there so it doesn't damage the roof. Tarps are already out there. So now you gotta climb that tall ladder and not be afraid of heights. Cause that's pretty long ways down. It's about 14 feet. Almost 14 feet. To say it's hot is an understatement. I'm just covered in sweat. Man, oh man. Loaded. I guess we don't have to be there till Wednesday. So I'm debating we should just go home and leave out tomorrow because it's not that far. Just make it there in one shot. Maybe that's what we'll do. But uh, here I'll show you guys the load. I couldn't really film this because these guys didn't really like me pointing the camera out there. And then I really couldn't get you guys up there with me to show you. Excuse me how this load looks and how high it is because it's about it's a little over eight feet <laughs> so uh i'll flip you guys around and show you our tarp job and into the sun and we're gonna take off actually we might just take our time because i think it's like six o'clock so it's the worst of the worst right now with traffic but yeah all right let me flip you guys around i told you it was sunny so these are electrical panels and I guess he's going to a job site. Sorry about the sun. Let's spin around this side so we're uh, away from it. Yeah, it's a, it's a light one, but it's a tall one. Let me get out of the sun. This sun, this sun, man. Can you guys imagine what it felt like tarping this? No, I don't know why they loaded it like that, but it's a light load, so I'm not worried about it. I actually prefer it so it's closer to the cab that way less drag on this because this is a pretty tall load so less drag the better for me get out of here wasp shoot sorry but anyway there's a load we're gonna turn around over here and make our way out of here Actually, I'm gonna go home because I don't have to leave out till tomorrow. I can't deliver this to Wednesday morning anyway, so 
I'd just be spending, you know, hours in a truck where I could go home and take a shower in my own shower and not get athlete's foot from those truck stops. And, uh, yeah, I, I wear flip-flops, but still. And then I'll fix this little guy here. Maybe just use a little dielectric grease or the prongs mess list. Because it was fine until I hit a bunch of bumps on 680 and then I started screwing up. But my tank and the sensor on this truck, the coolant sensor, is aftermarket. So maybe it's just, I don't know, not a perfect match and it's going off. I can bypass it too. I think all you got, all you got to do is just jump the connector and it'll quit but I, I, it's nice to have a low coolant warning just in case you actually do lose coolant you know usually you can smell it but yeah we're gonna go home probably i think one of my bungees broke on this tarp my one of my tarp straps so i'm gonna probably put a couple more bungees on this on this tarp anytime you tarp eight feet and the product isn't exactly square like this isn't because it's like six feet wide instead of eight feet wide tarp likes to flop around a lot i mean flop around it'll just balloon out a little bit especially when you get into some winds and that's kind of what it's doing right now but that's probably because i also broke a uh, strap one of the tarp straps not not an actual strap that holds the load down but the bungee you know that holds the holds the tarp and i think it's that's why it's doing it plus it's really windy here because it's the altifon live it more it's always freaking windy here so can't really help it but it's riding all right so far. Go home to a low check and regroup. It was hotter than hell over there at Tarp in this. It was like 95, 96 degrees in the Bay Area today. So it wasn't fun tarping eight feet, but hey, this pays pretty good. Actually, this load I think pays about, I don't know, it's a pay five plus something a mile. I'll have to figure it out, but it pays really good. That's why I took it. I mean, I just figured I had to take it. There's no way I, there's no way I couldn't take it especially on a Monday. There's never loads on a Monday, so. My guy came through and hooked me up, so. Yeah, I like it. I don't know if you can hear it, but that thing's got a beep like that until I fix it. That's what's annoying. You gotta drive with the beep, 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 beep. First thing when it happened, I pulled over and I popped the hood. Like, no, no coolant leaks. It's the stupid sensor. Oh well. We'll get our done when we get home. Livermore now. Hopefully no more hopefully no traffic, because this is usually Altamont's usually pretty bad, but it looks to be alright so far. So let's keep on trucking. Not a big deal. But I've been listening to it since the Bay Area. Let's see how our load's doing. I think I have to put a bungee over there. How's our straps? How's our strappage? Not a bad load because it's light, even though it's so tall, you know? It looks like we're gonna have to do something over here too. Yeah, that guy's flopping around. Yeah, we'll put a bungee on it. We'll do that tomorrow before we leave. So far, so good though. Truck's riding good. That's our new tire. Truck's doing good. Load's riding good. That's tall SOB though. Um, no issues. Cross, I'm not flipping you guys off. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm not that kind of a guy. Um, no issues with the J1939. Hopefully that's the case. We won't have any more. 
but yeah, we'll 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 fix that guy tomorrow because it's it's not a happy it's not a happy camper. No biggie. Uh, yeah, this kind of kicked my ass today though. It was hot over there, and I haven't really done much, but as long as they're on the house like a walrus, other than working on his truck and uh, moving the pool and little things here and there. Yeah, we're gonna have to mess with this front too a little bit and that guy up there. But the truck did all right, other than the low cooling deal. But like I said, no problems. We'll fix that tomorrow. Look at that beautiful sunset over there. Ginormous tarp gold. Yeah, it moved down there too. Oh well, I don't care. I don't really think they need tarp this to begin with because it ain't even gonna rain, but it doesn't really, that's just dirt, and it doesn't really require, it's not gonna tear anything up, so yeah, whatever. They are paying for it, so. There's my lovely wife. Not fixing it this time. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. I'm in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. I'm in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on.